So I'm coming to today real quick with the haul. It's just a couple things that I purchased from the e.l.f. website. It's not a lot of things at all. I just want this video to be really quick, really fast. I just wanted to talk about some of these items because I am I am going to be uploading a full uh, get ready with me make um, video with me doing this look. And I use nothing but e.l.f. products. Every, all the products that I use was e.l.f. Maybe I probably use... I think I used the Maybelline mascara because I just love the, I just love this the big eye Tommy, but really simple at the same time. So I didn't add no falsies. I just put a lot of mascara on it. So this is the look. So the first thing I picked up from the Elf from the Elf website was the Elf Complete Coverage Concealer, which looks like this. And this is in the shade. This is in the color dark. And I, re I really love the concealer. Um, my only problem is that it is blendable. Don't get blendable, but it's not as blendable as I thought it was going to be. I know it does blend much easier than the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. But I use these two colors, the two lighter colors for my under eye. And I use um, these two colors. Um, I use these colors for... Like on top. I'm gonna come back to you with um, my update because again this was my first time using it but as me using it I do like it with the elf BB cream and it looks like this applied it it came over very oily and it was um, too light for my skin but once it settled in it did um, it did blend very well to my skin tone so I really I like that about it um, I was kind of scary at first because I was like all my beauty creams with a powder just because I like the matte fade okay. if you have oily skin I don't think you'll like this so much but again I really don't know because this is my first time using it I, so I am gonna come back with the update with this BB cream I, all I wear is BB creams I don't wear liquid foundation just because that's what I prefer and yeah I have tried to um, normal skin and my skin is very sensitive so I do not um, like a lot of heavy things on my face so I always use deep creams and this is this is medium to full coverage it is buildable I did a first um I did a first layer I did one layer and you would barely see my blemishes but then I did it again smooth um, face so this is uh, this is buildable Okay, so the last three things I got, I don't, I told you I hang a lot of things, blushes, elf blushes, and the first color I got was King Coral, and it's just a really pretty coral color. I think I'll use this more for a highlight than a, than a blush, just because once it comes off, it comes off more like a, a gold, a goldish. Light color is like kind of too light for for me for a blush, but it's a really pretty color I have on as a blush is Blushing Rose, and it's this color right here, and I really love this color. This is really pretty. It's a really pretty rose color, and I think this works out for all skin skin tones. I think especially for my darker ladies, like my complexion or darker. Just like look at it, it's so pretty. It's a really pretty color, and I love it a lot. Is got a glow and it's just a uh, it's a white I know it looks really scary in the package it looks really 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 scary this is actually a dupe for the NARS Albatross and if anybody knows if anybody ever used the NARS Albatross it is scary just like this in the um in the package but it comes off so Baby. pretty. It comes off as a nice gold color. And I can use that as a highlight. I know I won't be able to use this for a blush. But you can get away with it with a highlight. Especially for my dark skin ladies. I'm um, just talking about some of the um, stuff that I use in my get ready video. If you didn't check out my previous video. I am I am doing a giveaway. And it is um, with L products. So I'll show you guys today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Yo, 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 yo,